I am so sorry if any, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I mean, it's, I have a really bad habit of forgetting to close my door before I started the film. So I think I'm probably going to start working on that. So anyway, hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 re public restroom pet peeves. Now, when we go to places, there's always a restroom, like in a park, a restaurant, a library, a store. They always have public restrooms open, like customers or or um, just like anywhere in general. They always have a restroom, which is a good thing for people to relieve themselves at because that out because where else are they gonna do it no any just kidding anyway so i'm gonna get started to talk about all the pet peeves i have with public restrooms and this will be similar to my bathroom pet peeves which i'll leave a link to in the description box down below if you didn't see see and it's a um it's not really an old video i made it i think last year i can't remember so if you want to see my top 10 bathroom pet peeves, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So I'm going to get started. So number one of my list had to be the restroom being occupied for a long time. Now this was one thing that bothers me. This is one thing that bothers me about um, pe people sometimes is like restrooms, people not being considerate for other people who are in line. I mean, it's like I understand some people don't move very fast in the restrooms, but it's not very polite to hog an entire bathroom for a really long time because there are other people that need to use that bathroom or maybe restroom, I should say. There's other people that need to use that restroom. So it's not very considerate to hog a restroom all for yourself when there are other people that need to use it, like people who paid to eat at a restaurant. That's like fair is fair there and I do have a video of where a lady got was kind of rude to me when she got out of the restroom which I will leave a link to in the description box down below as well number two my left after the restroom stall not having any toilet paper this is one thing that really drives me crazy about a public restroom at like a restaurant or any place that's public it's like if there's no toilet paper in the bathroom stall it just bothers me because then I have to get out up and get a paper towel and I know that's pretty easy but it's like it, I just don't want to leave a mess in the bathroom for someone else now and it bothers me when there is no toilet paper and I don't want to bother the person next to me in the stall to use the extra to ask for extra toilet paper I paper when they're doing their business in the bathroom <laughs> too much information sorry number three on my list I had to be the restroom stall being small now I am claustrophobic a lot of you guys know that about me is that I am very claustrophobic when it comes to small places like I literally kind of get a little anxious when I'm in a very small place like if I'm in a really small bedroom if I'm in a really small area in my house so it's been it's it's like very very like uncomfortable for me I don't like being in small places so if I'm in a I try to like try to use the bigger bathroom stalls in the restroom that they have some if not I will just try my best to not freak out in the not get anxious when I'm in the smaller stalls I am very claustrophobic I don't like being in small places Number four on my list would have to be people leaving a mess in the restroom. This is, this has happened to me at my old job a few times. Is like a couple people would, a couple kids would use the restroom, and some people would ha would make a mess in it right after I clean it, which kind of like bothered me. Which me, me, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't usually mind cleaning up after people, but sometimes right after I just clean it, there'd even be a bigger mess in the restroom, and which kind of bothered me. And me because then I have to clean it over and over and over again. Okay, which it happens. I mean, if you work in a restaurant, I mean, it happens. Like it happens. Um, sometimes you once you clean the bathroom, you will have to reclean it, which is super annoying. So I understand how you feel. I've had that same thing when it came to the restroom at my work when I would be cleaning the restroom and someone had to use it when I was in the middle of cleaning it so I had to get out of the restroom wait for that person to be done to using the restroom and then I'd have to come back in and clean it again. And I don't know, it happens. Happens is sometimes like 
a while, go, while after I clean it, there'd still be a mess in the restroom. Number five on my list would have to be the restroom not being labeled. So I have a story about how I accidentally went into the wrong restroom one time. Well, time and um, there were pictures. <laughs> There's a picture of the woman in the men's bathroom. Well, that was because I didn't read the signs and I was confused because I was just looking at the picture. So sometimes there's no label on the restroom if it's a man or a women's bathroom or if it's unisex. So so that's one of my biggest pet peeves is if there is a rest, if the restroom is not labeled, like if it's occupied, because sometimes it's hard to tell when the occupied, if the door is closed. And some people will accidentally forget to lock the door, which bothers me. And I hate walking into people in the restroom because I feel like I'm being um, annoying. Annoying, and that is very uncomfortable to walk into someone when they're doing their business in the restroom. Number six on my list would have to be there only being one rest restroom in a place. So this kind of bothers me because I think it's good to have an extra restroom just in case someone else needs to use the restroom. I know some places are so, so small that they have to have one restroom, but it's like it bothers me because there's other people that need to use the restroom too too and sometimes it's hard for other people when there's only one restroom because sometimes the restroom will be occupied for a really long time and it bothers me when it, me if they don't have enough room for an extra restroom because um then other only one person gets to use the restroom at a time which is kind of not fair but if there's stalls it's completely fine but if it's just a restroom with just one toilet it really bothers me when there's only just one restroom and then everyone else, because sometimes people occupy the restroom for a really long time. Number seven on my list had to be there only being one stall in the bathroom. So that kind of bothers me as well because I like when restrooms have ex extra stalls so that everybody can use the bathroom when they need to. If there's only one stall, that's not a, that's not very helpful for customers in my opinion at least. Well, that's just my opinion. If you guys don't mind it, that's totally okay. I personally think it bothers me because there's other people like in that restaurant or place that need to use the restroom. And if one person uses the restroom, they may take a really long time, which is super annoying because there's other people that really need to use the restroom. Restroom and um, and if there's only one stall, then how can other people use the restroom when they really need it? Number eight on my list had to be broken hand dryers. Now, I've had this happen to me before when I am unable to get my hands dry after washing them and they and the hand dryer is out literally not working. It drives me crazy. And what even bothers me even more is that there's no paper towels in the restroom when I can't um, dry my and I can't dry my hands so I have to grab toilet paper which I hate because toilet paper is not as absorbent as regular hand paper towels are and it really bothers me that I have to waste so much toilet paper in order to dry my hands off. Number nine on my list had to be the restroom being out of toilet paper. That really bothers me too. Oh whoops um Number uh, nine on my list would be the restroom being out of paper towels. So it really bothers me when I don't have anything to dry my hands with because then my hands end up wet. I end up having to touch everything that thing with my hands being wet. It really, really bothers me because like I think that's not very considerate when people don't remember to stock the paper towels in the bathroom because like there's not always actual because not a lot of places have actual towels for people to dry their hands off because those can be kind of pricey and I know restaurants and places to work at they only have paper towel they always like get paper towels not regular towels because it's just one second because regular hand towels sometimes can be kind of expensive depending on where they get them them or if they have to order them so if the plate restroom doesn't have paper towels it drives me crazy because sometimes there won't be a hand dryer and I can't dry my hands when hands and I have to walk around with wet hands for a while it really bothers me number 10 on my list would have to be the restroom not having toilet seat covers now I am kind of a germaphobic I don't like like when there's no toilet seat covers on the toilet because you don't know where people have been. I mean, it's like if I know some places can't really afford toilet seat covers, but it's good that restaurants usually have toilet seat covers just 
for to prevent like germs and stuff and i really it really bothers me when there's no toilet seat covers because um it just so let me think sorry i it bothers me when there's no toilet seat covers because i don't want to just sit on a toilet when toilet because i don't know who's been on the toilet and then it really really bothers me when i don't have something sanitary to put on the toilet because i want to be safe and sanitized rather than just sit on a regular toilet. I know that's too much information, so I apologize. Okay, so those are my top 10 public restroom pet peeves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week vlog, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.